So here's the, 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 the magic question. Andre, why did the coffee spill? Now, you, you talked about driving without a cup holder. You were late. You were talking about all this stuff that you are doing. And, and it's easy to, to look at um, the circumstances around us as to why the, the, the coffee spilled. And so, um, you know, you were, you, you know many, many of you may have said, you know, Andre, you were running late. Um, you weren't prepared. You didn't have the right resources. Um, things weren't... Um, you weren't prepared, you, you, you did things at the last minute, you were under stress. Any combination of those things is often what I hear when, when I pose this question. But what I want to offer you as to the reason why the coffee spilled, and the reason why micro inequities often happen, um, is because of this very simple reason. And when, you, when, I, when I finally give it to you, you're going to say, what? You're going to say, oh man! Right? So here is the, the, the top secret reason why the coffee spilled. Because that's what was in the cup. Yeah, there was coffee in the cup. What are you saying, Andre? What, what I'm saying is, given those same circumstances, that, that I'm running late, that I have a coffee cup, I don't have a cup holder, I'm really busy in the car, that, that I'm focused on, on driving and focused on doing a lot of things at the same time. If there was orange juice in that cup, what would have spilled out? Orange juice would have spilled out. If there was water in the cup, given those same circumstances, what would have spilled out? Water. So my, 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 my point very simply is that whatever is inside of our cup, and we can call that cup um, our mindset, we can call that cup our spirit, we can even refer to that cup as, as our organizations. Whatever it is that is in our cup, when given situations of challenge, when given limited resources, when given lots of tasks, what spills out of you is the stuff that you've put into you. So I want you to think about this. If you put hate into your cup, or you put um, d depressing feelings, or you put anger, or you put those things, those negative things in your cup, what happens when someone cuts you off as you're driving to work? What spills out? As, uh, as someone doesn't meet up to your expectations or, or they haven't fulfilled a promise. If you have anger and you have, um, um, you know, uh, evil. <laughs> if, if you have, uh, you know, low patience in your cup, what, what will spill out? At the same time, I want you to flip that around and think about what happens when we put compassion in our cup. What happens when we put dare to say, love in our cup. When someone crosses our path or doesn't fulfill what we, what we think that they should or they haven't, um, they haven't come up to the level that we expect them to, um, we face possible disappointments, how do we greet those, those opportunities to, to build and mend relationships? How do we um, expand what it is that we have in our cup to, to make sure that we're spilling out the kinds of things that we want. And so what you put in your cup is more important than when and how you spill. And so when we talk about micro inequities, what typically happens is what's in people's cup spills out. And so micro inequities are those little tiny things that we do that aren't quite dis uh, discrimination, aren't the kinds of things that you take to your lawyer and say, I want to sue on this, or, or, you know, let's make this systematic change. But it's those tiny things that add up to, to negatively impact someone's discretionary effort. And you'll keep hearing me talk about micro inequities and their relationship to discretionary effort. So what's in your cup? We'll see you in the next chapter.